morning sorry this is a really cute look from me isn't it welcome back to my channel welcome back for a brand new video and today i am going off to manchester so of course i'd bring you all along and when i thought we could spend the weekend together i do have a confession to make i did actually vlog last week but it was just a very boring week and i literally felt like i was doing so much but a lot of it like i couldn't even vlog so i was like what's the point and that's where i've been i'm so excited to go to manchester i feel like it's just been so long right i was literally just getting ready and i think a pr box has arrived because daisy texted me saying have you got a pr box box actually going to Aintree races i've never been to the races before we're going to ladies day tomorrow for the first time ever and we're going with boohoo which is so exciting oh my god no freaking way sorry look in this box you can't even really see everything that's in here let me show you got the races hangover kit got literally essentials paracetamol <laughs> vitamin tablets and a face mask is that a face mask oh my god love that hair comb fantastic need one of these Olaplex number eight and number nine pink flip-flops a scrunchie, lip oil, lip mask. I left my one of this at uni, the scalp massaging brush. And also some new Babyliss straighteners. Thanks so much, Boohoo. Honestly, I'm so excited. Like I said, I've never been to the races before. So I feel like this is so exciting. Like I always see people go to the races. And I've just never been. I'm all ready to go to Manchester. My outfit of the day is actually all from a pretty little thing. Honestly, this little set that I've got on, I think just kind of sums me up. It says dramatic, which <laughs> I feel like that's exactly what I am. I'm getting the train to where Daisy lives and then we're getting the train straight from there all the way through to Manchester. It's three hours and 45 minutes. Um, so probably should do some uni work on that train journey. I can't believe we're gonna be on the train for that long. Hello, I'm on the train. I'm with Daisy. Hey, hey. we are on our way to Manchester. We're actually approaching Grantham, so we're nearly at Knott's. Miss you, Knott's. Miss you, uni girls. <laughs> See you Monday. <laughs> Just on our way, I got a latte with caramel at the station. I also got this shortbread, which really wasn't that nice. Didn't rate it. It just really didn't hit the spot. I literally love the ones from Costa, so it hit the spot. And I've also got these crisps, which are sweet chilli and sour cream. I never knew that was a combo that could no. come together. Sounds good though, I love sour cream. Yeah, so do I, but like sweet chili and sour, I never thought they would be a combo. Oh, I'm, girl. I'm not hungry right now. But I actually I'm had smoky bacon. She's just sat here and eaten two packets of crisps. Just smoky stink. bacon and flame grilled steak. <laughs> <Get them away. laughs> We've been on the train for probably about like two hours and I really need to whip out my laptop and I'm really just done. I've got dinner booked for tonight. I actually can't wait. What's it called? Saku Samba. Saku Samba. I'm with sushi guys, you know how much I love sushi. I'm literally so excited. Four? Half four. Half four we get there. We've got two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, that's a lot of time for me to work. It is. I'm that's so stressed. Have you seen the top one PLT that says that gives me the ick? No. PLT do a top that to says that. that gives me the ick. That's uh, all you say. I know, it actually does. And people keep on commenting on my TikToks saying like, you saying ick is giving Give me, me the ick. And I, I just reply and him. say, ha ha. Bring your hand. I brought my hangover kit with me. Now that they've yeah. given us this, just suggests how absolutely heavy tomorrow is going to be and i literally can't wait you're gonna bet on a horse do you bet on a horse <laughs> when you go to the races do you, have you bet, do you bet yeah. when you go yeah but nothing like drastic <laughs> a fiver a fiver okay i don't know what i'm doing i've never been this little lip rehab and my lips are feeling kind of dry so let's do it it's from barry m coconut love coconut things do you like oh i've used that it's really good i didn't bring it though did you use it this morning yeah, babe. Oh my god, it smells oh, like it's um, beautiful. It's really thick. It smells like you know, like the body butter that you get. That's like cocoa. Oh wow. Charlie Root started sharing your location with you. Oh, love Thanks, that. Babe. Daisy's boyfriend's going to Bali for three weeks, so she was crying this morning. But <laughs> all good. Doing work on the train and it's long. Adam's head left. So I haven't really done much. I'm going to try these because I'm intrigued. Do you want to try one? Yeah. It's kind of scary, me, but I hate trying new things. Did you know what do you expect? There's a lot of flavours going on my mouth right now. No, nice. You know when you're just like, I'm trying to get everything that it's meant to taste like? I'm not getting a lot of sweet though. It's weird, aren't they? Mm. Weird. I don't know how I feel about it. I think they tried to do too much. It's like a dim down sweet chilli. Mm. I'm starting off to scramble and down those. Mm. I don't know if you can deliver it on the train. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> deliver it. <laughs> me, 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 me at Chef Builder. Right, we've just checked in to our hotel room. It's actually so big. We're staying at the Clayton Hotel tonight. Then, don't know what we're doing tomorrow night. <laughs> so but awesome. tonight, we're staying at the Clayton Hotel. Um, and it's so cute in here. The hotel itself is really nice. Oh my That's God, so I can't cool. lie. So you all know how much I love and appreciate natural light. So me and Daisy have walked into this room and been like, wow. 
Oh my god, it's so nice. Massive window. Massive window. Ready? Ready? <laughs> we pulled that across and we were so disappointed. But here we have the bathroom. Very bougie. Shower. Shower. Bougie, stunning, amazing. Wardrobe. Wardrobe area. Amazing. Oh, do, yeah. do you hang your clothes up? Because I never do. No. I might hang my suit up though for tomorrow. Yeah, Is there I an iron in there? Oh, there's an iron oh, oh, yeah. Brilliant. Yes. Not that I'm really an iron. <laughs> no, I'm gonna use it. Um, full length mirror. Cute. Coffee Big machine. TV. Coffee machine. Is there coffee pods? Oh, it's a freaking tray. Oh my God, it's chocolate. <gasps> That's hot chocolate. We've got a mini fridge. <laughs> Bring in there. <laughs> I just realised we didn't get Ooh. still water. I just realised we didn't get any drink. I have a big mirror. Do you know what? There's a lot of mirrors in here. This floor space, so much room for activities. I'm actually going to put my case down here as well. I'm honestly so excited to be in Manchester. I feel like I've missed it so much. Like when I'm always on my way here, I literally just get so buzzing. We're going to do the bed test. It's actually a really big bed. Let me get a run up. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> oh, that's, that's quite it's actually nice. a really big bed. I'm ready for dinner early. <laughs> it's about not me holding. Right, I love Pleasure. this top from Zara. It's giving designer Jacquemus vibe. Uh, it's really like my boobs are almost out. I might get taken off YouTube for that. Under boobs the new thing called the sun is wow. glaring through. Whoa. She's in a full little Zara outfit, Zara jeans. I've got my blue Dior's on and then I'm gonna take this bag with me from Zara. Daisy, you look sick. Thanks babe. Look at the clean, it's giving clean girl cool. It's, it's giving wag, it's giving wag. Well, I know I you're not a wag, not. but it's giving, yeah, I've got my life together. Whereas well, I've got my tits out. out and you've got your life together. I've got the straight hair, I'm so glad you went for the yeah. straight hair. Look how long yeah, her hair is. She was like, I don't think my hair's that long. And I was like, bro, it's so, oh, you're pissing me off. <laughs> That's what I want my natural hair to be like. But yeah, we're going to Sakusumbu. No, Shannon, I've said it ten times. She said it so many times. What's... Saku... Saku... Saku Samba. Saku Samba. Saku Samba. For dinner, and I can't wait. We're at Saku Samba. You basically order it all on a tablet. No, no, no. Which, how cool is this? Look at all of them. Look at all the sides. Excited. Our first lot of food has just arrived. Look at the little pink sauce on top. <laughs> Came back to the hotel and I got changed because I wanted to get a picture in this outfit because we're doing Ladies Day tomorrow. Unreal. We might be going out tomorrow night. But, so I will be wearing this if we do go out, but if we don't go out or I'm too drunk, I really felt like this deserved like a full on, like cool Proper picture picture. moment. We've got a story to tell We've got you. a big, a bit of a story time and yeah, I'm gonna story. be completely real with you guys. I was like, do I do this story time? Don't I do this story time? But I'm gonna do the story time. So we went to Saku Hang on, can I just pause? What? Can we just show the difference? Oh yeah, look at our outfits. outfits. <laughs> this is what I had to wear <laughs> to go downstairs and get photos. And um, there was me in my um, heels, my pointy heels, everything. <laughs> nice. So we went to Saku Samba for dinner. Can I just say the venue itself, so nice. Yeah, yeah music, good. Da -da -da. I'm food wasn't the best. However, no, no, it was no, no, still no, no. not. Like, my the food, food, the food was awful. Your, your food wasn't good. The, the crispy squid was frozen that I could yeah. get in Green King. I'm not usually someone to like, <laughs> we're not like shit, like I was eating it and it was like the sushi that I showed you guys, like it was nice, but you know like, you know how much I love sushi, so like I just- A weird prize. I'm sushi I know it's good and, and I, I knew, what's not. And it was basically like an all you can eat thing. So I we was like, do you know what? Like it's fine, like it's all you can eat. Like I know it's not expecting it to be the most amazing thing because usually like I was expecting it to be like 20, 25 quid. Yeah. We didn't really have a lot, we had like, six dishes yeah and the sushi there was like four bits of there was sushi four bits on of sushi one. on each like plate the sushi curry was literally the bowl like this i was like yeah but i honestly just thought you know what it's all you can eat it's, it's fine. fine it's gonna be about 25 quid even 30 quid i would have paid yeah, max. max the bill came and it was 50 pounds per person not including the drinks our bill came to 120 quid <laughs> and Right, I'm honestly, I'm I so, sure. yeah, like I genuinely just was ne not expecting that, but the woman came over really quick and I, this is the first time I've ever, 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 ever in my whole entire yeah. life complained, so it's not like me at all. I was like, whoa! I don't know, it's, it's like, fuck. I was just like, I'm going to be really honest, like, I really don't think it was worth that because when we got sat down, she didn't tell us, she didn't tell us like how much it was. Like if I would have known it was like that much money, then I would have said something like halfway yeah. through. But because I just, I assumed that like, that was, boyfriend's call. Ah! 
Oh, I said to the woman, I was like, it's really my fault because I really should have checked about how much it was. And I said to her, I was like, I will pay for it. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm just giving you my feedback that I really don't think it's worth it. Um, and she, then she was like, well, usually we do like a la carte menu. So like, I'll take it and like add up how much your food was individually for you. Um, and then I'll give it back to you, you can decide what you want to do. And our food literally came to £50, like our whole bill including the drinks, because you have to pay for the drinks on top, so like our whole bill came to £50. And oh, I felt so bad, I literally said to her, I was like, I'm so sorry, like I really appreciate you doing that for us. I said I was going to be happy to pay it, but I just wanted to let you know. And I'm now sitting here, and you know when you just feel so guilty, but I really do like the venue and the vibes are cool, like I feel like it would be such a cute place, like go for some drinks at the bar, but I just didn't think the food was worth that much money. And oh, I just feel like, oh, I can't believe I just complained. The only reason why I'm telling you this is because I didn't want to be like, oh my God, Saki Samba is so good. And then you guys go and are like, Shannon, what the fuck you're lying to us. So I just wanted to be completely honest. But that's the first time I've ever, ever done that before in my life. I actually can't believe I've done that. But yeah, we've just come back to the hotel. I'm just gonna get myself into bed and we're gonna chill because we've got like a long day tomorrow. I need to try and get season tickets scissor tickets for tomorrow morning as well plus get ready for the braces we have this yeah. magical coffee machine and i really want one so well actually i don't want a coffee they've given us like two pods and one of them's a chocolate pod and i really fancy that do you think that's gonna be hot yeah baby that was quick i don't think i've done this right <laughs> Eyes and <shine. laughs> um Guys, I'm really upset. So the tickets aren't coming out until 12. I thought it was 10, but they're doing another pre-sale at 10, which is so rude. Who even has O2 priority? Because I really don't. Why does it feel literally illegal to be sitting down making a cup of tea? In terms of um, scissor tickets, I had to now text my mum and say, mum, can you please try and get me scissor tickets? Oh, I'm really gutted. I was literally, I was, it's only nine o'clock and I was getting my laptop ready for the 10 release and then it turns out that they're not coming out of 10. I'm holding out much hope now so please if a brand is going to scissor can you take me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to go so. We had a bit of a hotel palaver I'm not going to get into it but we've just had to extend our night here um but we're changing hotel rooms because it was like what was it like 40 quid cheaper to change? Yeah yeah this room was like 150 what yeah, this room was like 150 and then the next room was like 114. So we were like, okay, it's fine, we'll change the late shop. Right, but we've just packed up all of our stuff to go downstairs to switch rooms. Then for them to just tell us just now that we can stay in the same room. So, and now we're like, oh, it's a cute. Daisy looks Hi, like a problem. Sense. Yeah, Daisy looks like she's meant to be going to oh, the races. <laughs> Daisy looks like she's meant to be going down to the races. Do you? Like, yeah, but you're like proper. Look at the headpiece. I wish I could do that, but it's just not me. So welcome nice. on the board. Woo! <laughs> we are on our way to the races, and I'm with Farron. Hey, Emily and Daisy are here. Hey, we are in one of these fancy cars, <laughs> and I love it. Look at the starry lights. <laughs> we've got the Spotify connected, and we've got the champagne. <laughs> Woo! I bet on two races. We bet on two races. We lost everything. We've lost. We've lost, We've lost it all. We're in the toilet right now. The seco is flowing. It's going down. I haven't eaten anything today. We need to get food. Basically, we went to go get food, and it's torrential rain, so we had to walk outside. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Not today, Julia. Not today. So we're waiting for it to start. So we're gonna get even more drunk. Daisy, how are you feeling? I feel great. She feels drunk. We all feel drunk. We're very drunk, and it's not even three o'clock. Yeah. Woo! Be right back. Love the races. back at the hotel daisy's currently guzzling some mcdonald's water i was like you want to get mcdonald's i just want water and i've got a mccrispy with like, 
Sorry, I don't have my tripod. I didn't get any sauce. Oh, I'm broken without barbecue sauce. Such a good day, such a good night. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I feel like I've drunk so much alcohol, it's actually not okay. But when it's like, I feel like I didn't stop drinking that long ago. So when the waves of alcohol just slowly keep on hitting you, we've done loads of shots as well. Thanks so much, Boohoo. Love, love you. Boohoo. We love Boohoo. If anyone wants to join on my heart, let me know. Good morning <laughs> from Manchester. <laughs> we are we just about alive. Yeah, we've just checked out. Oh my god, this is literally hilarious. I, when you were sleeping last night, I literally no. turned around and you, um, you had your arm up like this, <laughs> and then also you hugged me and was like, "Love you." Fuck off. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, you did, and you kissed me on the shoulder. <laughs> No, I didn't. You did, you no, did. I didn't. You did, you did, you did. That is, that is fucking dreadful. Yeah, you did. You were honestly, you were like, pass out. You were pass out. And I was just on TikTok. It was hilarious. Oh my God, God, I'm such a love drunk. Yeah. Um, God, as if you just told me that now. I know, sorry, I just you remembered it. Vlog, right? I know, I, honestly, I was just vlogging. I was like, oh my God, yeah, I just remembered it. Anyway, we're going to Primark. Oh God, we're going to so get the 12.45 train, so we've got about an hour ish until we need to leave to go to the train station but yeah shopping time <laughs> hi it's now sunday we got back yesterday I had a bit of a palaver on the train it was just so stressful it was delayed and delayed and delayed but got home it's all good it's you i was so tired yesterday you know we just get yourself into bed and crawl in so that's what i done yesterday or like last night should i say i did in fact pick up some bits from primark so i thought i could end this video in with a little primark haul starting off i'm actually starting the gym as soon as i finish uni like literally as soon as i'm getting myself into the gym because i'm going on holiday at the end of may and I need to be gym gal vibes. I don't think I'm going to be a gym girl in a few weeks, but a girl can try. Because I am going to be in my gym girl era, I saw this gym set in Primark and I was like, that is so cute. It's like little gym shorts with the matching gym sports bra. And especially when it's summer and it gets really hot, because we are going to have a hot summer, we always do. I think this is going to be literally perfect. And I just love the colour of it. Speaking on the theme of holidays, me and Daisy were like, let's go look at the bikini section because I feel like Primark can sometimes have like sick stuff and sick bikinis. And I saw this and I'm so excited. It's like a black so if you can see like a glitter bikini how cool the eight in the bottoms looked so small so i got a 10 but the 10 kind of looked big so i'm just hoping that they fit and this is literally just like a little tie bando how incredible is that i was literally so impressed i was like you go primark then i saw these sunglasses just chilling like randomly without a tag on or anything so then me and daisy went to the sunglasses section because i was like let me see if they're there these are so sick i love these like style sunglasses on me i feel like i've got makeup right now i don't want to ruin it but how cool are these i was gonna get the set of this but i was like i don't really wear like cycling shorts that much like i wear them for the gym and like under stuff but i don't go out and wear them kind of like on a day-to-day -day thing anymore but i did get the top it's their like seamless collection and i just loved it it's like a cream and i think with like some denim shorts and stuff just a nice little wardrobe staple and i love the quality of these as well but finally i just saw this as i was walking around it's just another gloss i think these are so good to take on a night out i have my fenty gloss my kiko gloss but they're like 12 pounds like the fenty one's like 20 pounds so when i go on nights out and stuff i love having these to just take out with me and that's everything i got from primark and i am gonna end this video here so i really hope you all did enjoy this little vlog if you did the please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and yeah i will see you all in my next video